Pardon me guys, I'm using, I'm not using a high definition camera, I'm just using my tablet to, to do this. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to give you, uh, I just thought I should give you like um, a routine or, or what I do to my face. Because I can just show you guys, this is what I use, this is what I use. I thought it would be better if I just show you guys um, the techniques I use when ap applying products to be for easy or... Um, for what for t for t for them to be effectively to maximize on their effectiveness so um i thought it would be better so um let me j let's just stop talking too much and i go straight to the point so um as you all know i have been using this um i have been using this and I've also been using this. This is almost it's it's actually over, but I have a new tube. This is fair and white. It's a skin perfecter cream. Yeah, and also there's this soap. I actually don't have their packaging, but it's it's like a glutathione. It's a glutathione. I don't know how they spell it, but yeah. This is this I bought it um was it 300 shillings or 250 I can't remember exactly but yeah I bought it in Dubois Road the sides of Breda Center every Nairobian or Kenyan maybe probably know that knows that that place so this it's very cheap and also I use a socks this is also available in beauty stores. I think even beauty cosmetics have them. But I bought it in in Perida Center. It goes for about a hundred bob a pair. So I use this to exfoliate on my face. I figured that this is better than using the normal scrub because somehow it's not if, as effective. But with this, I'm able to scrub the places that I need to get rid of the white the white heads and also the the oils yeah it's actually very effective if i can say this has like added added a lot of it has shown me a lot of differences so um let me just go straight ahead to what, what i do first i don't know how i can do this um what am I going to do? Lizzie, can you please come and help me? I just need your help. If you love your sister. Oh, she's here. So, thank you. Uh, yeah. I don't have like... So what exactly I do, oh my god, am, am I going to stay here till you finish the whole process? I want to do something there. Please. Just give me a second. Oh, a second, that's already gone. Minute. So I just apply this, like the soap, and I scrub it like this. I do this like, like three times a day. No, not three times a day. Three times in a week, sorry. <laughs> three times a day is just too much. So I scrub by like this. This is where like there's always I like saying like like. I need to get I need to stop doing that. So it's a horrible habit. Always saying like like. So uh and this side you scrub it just oh, gently. Okay. And then the forehead. This is not my daily, my daily routine, facial routine. This is a weekend routine where I focus on my face. Sometimes when I have my natural hair on, I also do the wash day, which is just too much work also. So, yeah. Not too much, but 
because I've been doing this and then this side this is where it's very irritable it just For this part, I think you'll need a white towel, like a cloth, yeah, because, um, and I use this, so I pat it dry, like, just not wiping too hard, because your skin is very delicate, so then, almost getting done what but I have an extra bottle so that is not worry so the reason why I said you you need a white towel is because of this benzoyl you need it cause it it bleaches or discolors your cloth if it's dark colored you're likely to Mess up your towel. Yeah. So this is a wash. This is a washout. So I stay with it for about three to five minutes. Then uh, I wash it. So um, I'm gonna stay with it for five minutes. Then I'm gonna come back and continue. So at this point, I've already washed washed off the benzoyl peroxide. I stayed with it for about four, four minutes or so. So, um, as you can see, I feel like my skin is, ugh. It's like pores are open. And I feel like it's a bit, like, tight. Um, and it, it's shining, as you can see. And it also feels dry. I don't feel itchy, itchiness. Sometimes I feel itchy, but right now it's not itchy. So at this point, and as I was saying, if you're going to wipe benzoyl peroxide, please use a white or a separate towel. A separate towel. Also, for the face, I also always use a separate towel because of contamination of some sort. So, yeah. Um, I... I'm gonna use a cotton. So I'm. This is a part where I use um, this. This is fan white cleanser. So I don't know. I just try to use it, but not all the time. I use it because it. This is also good when you're getting rid of makeup, like after you've washed your face and you're not quite sure that all your makeup is gone. You, it's good because it shows and it gets rid, it get rid of all of that that you're likely not to remove while washing. So as you can see, it hurts some very little. It's not like pure white, like it was before. And it's, it's quite oh you can feel it it's it's a bit itchy I don't know it's it's supposed to act on that it's like spirit yeah so then after that I'm opening up a new bottle or pay and white I'm just really disappointed that they added they increased the price. It's now 620. Can you imagine? And the first time I started my acne acne um acne what? The first time I started to use like to, to start getting taking a video of this 
It just costed 490 dollars So, um, it's like this. And by the way, um, disclaimer alert, there are other fake fan white products circulating in the market. And it's very easy to, it's very easy to note them. I can only give, I'll do that, I can, I'll give that, I'll give that, I'll share with you guys how to bought a fake and a genuine fan white that's not for today because mm. they don't work the same way they don't smell the same way and the price variance is quite huge so I will give you guys that so um, I give it to purchase So, I also need a, this is a handkerchief, just normal handkerchief, but you always have to make sure you wash it, because it will be full of, what did you do? It will be full of um, oils and stuff and bacteria. So, this is the most important part, guys. You don't just apply these things and just use your hands. I... The reason why I got this technique from my cousin, a cousin of mine, and I actually saw that it made a lot of sense, and when I tried it, it worked. With this technique, you are able to make oils or your cream penetrate effectively in your skin, so that in that way, you are going to see the differences kinder first, and also, you're not likely to use to 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 waste a lot of product in your hands and all that and also again since your hands are likely to be contaminated probably in the middle of maybe you touched something or whatever so you're able to avoid all these things and this makes it makes your makes your product it doesn't matter what exactly you use it doesn't have to be fair and white alone when you're using creams even on your body i know it's hard but even in the neck you can also use it in the neck right now i'm not using the neck. i'm not gonna apply on my neck i don't need it because I, I haven't taken a shower yet so i i would i would advise this i would suggest this try it and you'll see the difference so you just Since you benzoyl it, it also works the same way because it opens up your pores. And the benzoyl peroxide is also for curing severe acne. So, what I'm just doing here is just on a circular motion, just the way I was scrubbing my face with a exfoliating glove. So, yeah. Just like this, it's just, it's very simple. Mm. There's no way you're going to 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 use your hands or do anything like. Sometimes you can do it, but like my hands are clean because I just went straight here and I had washed them. So, yeah. You can feel it, it's, yeah, so let's and see how it's gonna you can feel it. So yeah guys, I hope this video was helpful and I believe that, I believe that not every face is the same but with the right product and certain techniques I'm sure some people you use different have different techniques of applying these products. Sometimes you might even be using the wrong you might be using the wrong you might be using you might be using the right sorry. You might be using the right product but using them in the wrong way. So 
it just depends on how you use the product and you can you sometimes you ask your friends or you see people like the acne the acne problems are getting fixed and yours is still there so it just depends on how you view the I don't know what I can say about that so yeah I it's quite hard to explain it but yes guys it is possible and that's how you can effectively use products and maximize on the effectiveness yeah uh, that dumb face so it smells really bad my sister is putting a, 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 acrylics on her nails of course acrylics are for nails and it smells really bad so guys that's it um i hope it was helpful and give your comments and suggestions yeah so bye guys 